Hey guys, Michael Keogh, Team Keo at Remax, and welcome back to the Barry Real Estate Update. I uh, hope everybody had a great long weekend, and if you had an opportunity to golf, at least you got a round in. I got to play twice. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, first, we'll start with condos, and we'll get into residential. Uh, we had 11 new listings last week compared to 10 from the week before. Four of those properties were relisted. Uh, conditional sales, hey, we had one. One conditional sale this week, which was also listed and sold within the uh, last week. And then we had zero conditional sales from the week before. Uh, firm sales are up. We had nine firm sales last week compared to three from the week before. And one of those properties was listed, was sold at list price. Uh, presently, we're sitting at 64 listings compared to 67 from last week. Let's get into residential. 44 new listings this week compared to 36 from the week before. Of those 44 new listings, 11 of those were relisted. So only 33 new listings coming on. We had 28 price reductions as well. Um, one of them was kind of interesting because it, uh, it was canceled in at the end of March of this year, and it was canceled at $525,000. And they brought it back on just recently, and or yeah, this week, and I'm not sure, I, I, I looked, and there's no renovations or anything to it, but now they brought it on at $598,888. Kind of curious where that falls down, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, four conditional sales this week compared to nine from the week before. All four of the properties that were listed or sold conditionally this week were listed uh, this week as well. Uh, 42 firm sales, sorry, 233 current listings compared to 237 current listings last week. Uh, 42 firm sales this week, which is exactly the same as uh, we had last week sitting at 42. Um, four of those properties actually sold firm, listed and sold firm within the same week. Five of them sold at list price. One of them is kind of interesting because it sold at list price and it was on the market for 43 days. There's no price reduction or anything with it. It was listed and took 43 days and they ended up getting full price. A um, couple other interesting ones. One was one that started at $575,000. They reduced it to $549,800 and ultimately ended up selling at $555,000. Um, there's one that I kind of scratched my head about. There, it would, came on the market at $565,000 and, and it was one of those ones, you've probably seen them around town. It's a Pratt bungalow. There's a long window out the front. And they're a really cool design, but they're only about 1,000 square feet. And this comes on at five sixty five, dollars and I go, holy mackerel. Um, and they're neat because they're kind of open to the basement and the garage is in underneath and it's a really neat plan and it sells for five hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars and I'm scratching my head and then I start reading it a little bit more and I see they put a 500 square foot addition on the back of this that was just spectacular the backyard was incredible and you know ultimately a 1500 square foot bungalow and it sells at 579 which is exactly where it should be so anyway guys um, any questions please reach out call text or email What's going to happen? Uh, weather's getting better. Now the May 2-4 weekend is over. Um, you know, we're seeing increased sales already. We've got increased showings. Uh, listings are kind of staying about the same. So I think you may find that more listings are going to come on. Maybe people took last weekend to uh, get their property ready to bring it onto the market. Interest rates are at a crazy low uh, rate, guys. So um, I don't think this is really going to slow down. So if you have any questions, please reach out. If you need anything, if you need groceries or, or prescriptions or anything picked up, uh, we're here to help. Call, text, or email. Enjoy your day.